Creo Parametric introduces new capabilities for freeform surface design in the form of freestyle. Freestyle comes as standard with all seats of Creo Parametric. Traditionally, when doing surface design work, you need to spend a lot of time figuring out how to lay out your patch structure, how to best get the surfaces to flow and be as smooth as, as you're after. A lot of the time, you need to have a level of expertise to do that. Freestyle, on the other hand, introduces a new concept in that mechanism. You no longer need to worry about laying out that patch structure. The system takes care of that for you. All you need to worry about is the form that I am trying to build. It works based upon technology called subdivisional modeling. In this way, you start with a primitive shape, a sphere, a cube, a plane. This primitive shape contains a control mesh that surrounds it. This control mesh is what you use to manipulate your geometry. If you pick any of the elements of the control mesh, a vertices, an edge, a plane, you will get a 3D dragger. This you can directly manipulate to modify your geometry. As you move the control mesh, the surface will automatically build high quality curvature continuous manufacturable surfaces for you automatically. If you want to add more detail to your control mesh, you simply subdivide it. By doing that, you would split an edge or split a surface, and this gives you more detail on your control mesh. The more detail you have, the more control you've got to manipulate and achieve that desired shape. Not all freeform shapes, though, are completely smooth. If, for example, you want to add a hard edge to something, with Inside Freestyle, I can select a number of edges and apply a crease to it, and then have control over how much that crease will alter my geometry. Equally, a lot of products that you build are symmetrical. Freestyle has the ability within inside the feature to be able to set up a symmetry plane. Any changes I make on one side of the control mesh will then automatically be reflected on the other side. In addition to that, what Freestyle also has is the ability to perform multi-level subdivision. This allows you to define your initial control mesh, to define your initial shape, but if I want to put in finer and finer detail, I can subdivide that mesh up at a very high level. This will not change the topology of my geometry, but will give me more control on my control mesh to push and pull and adjust the shape. Any level down you go with multi-level subdivision will split or convert each face into four faces. If I go down another level, each face becomes 16 and then 64 faces. As I push and pull on those particular vertices or faces in a subdivision level, I can deform the shape with very local changes. I can then go back up to a higher level of subdivision and do more of a global change, thus allowing me to very quickly define smooth geometry and define the overall shape that I'm after with both global changes and small local changes. Once I'm happy with the form that I've done, I can complete the freestyle feature. What I'm left with is a high quality quilt of surfaces, just like any other quilt that would exist inside Creo Parametric. I can then perform regular feature operations on it. I can trim it, I can merge it, I can add rounds to it, I can thicken it. Because Freestyle is a feature, it also allows me at any stage to go back into my design and redefine that particular feature. Thus getting back, making necessary changes, and the model will then regenerate after. This is very, very important, because what this allows you to do as a designer is really focus upon the form and the shape of what they're after, or what you're after without having to focus on how am I actually going to achieve that shape. So Freestyle allows you very quickly to come up with multiple concepts and multiple iterations on a design. For more information on Freestyle and Creo, please visit ptc.com.